What's going on guys? Um, I got Adam with me this weekend. Uh, we are headed up to Bemidji. We're gonna do some shooting for a client, some fun stuff, some moving around, some vlogging, some fishing. Uh, but we only had a few hours to fish tonight because we're going up Highway 10. We thought it'd be better to spend our time fishing a lake right next to town, because it's like, what, 5.30? And uh, versus going up there and trying to get like a half an hour of fishing in. So we are fishing a little lake that I've never fished before, Adam's never fished before, and it is absolutely gonna be zero secret. This is the lake that I've passed literally probably a dozen times, oh, probably more than that, dozens of times on the way up to Bemidji. It's right off the highway. That's Highway 10 right there. Um, like I said, we've never fished before. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I don't even know if there's bass in here, 100% honest. Uh, I guess there is, but uh, we also found out there's a float plane on this thing, even though it's like tiny. So we're gonna get the boat. Everything's semi-rigged up, ready to go for the weekend. Um, diagnose it, try and catch some fish, and film as we go. So to the next two hours, here we go. There you go, you good? Adam's ready. Ready. I have update for you. Um, we just got done fishing the first like little section of bank, so to speak, or a little section. Um, just had a little bit underneath the dock, but there isn't a whole lot here. I don't know if you can turn the camera on and really look or see. Let me dip it in the water. But there's a lot of structure like to hold these fish on. The weed line starts out here. So we could probably either back off and try and fish it deep, but with the essence of time, there's that corner over there, there's some down trees, a lot more vegetation. So I think it's gonna be something where we probably go head that way. Um, I'm throwing a swim jig. Adam was throwing a little spook for a while because it is getting kind of calm. Even though all day has been windy, it's getting a little calmer where one would definitely come up and need a spook. Uh, so we're just gonna kind of keep going along here. Here's a couple docks and see if we can't catch one of them elusive Larry's. Yeah. Oh, he's got oh, live. He does it live. Is it a largey too? Yeah. Oh my goodness. A one. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's a species. We know they're in the lake. <laughs> Get in here. Oh, the musky guy boat flips the bass right there. <laughs> Say that we just came across a pike that surfaced. We just saw a couple of bluegills. We know there's probably large mouth in here. And then sure enough, he back boats me and catches one like, it's on like a crank. It's like two. There you go. Two and a half. Looks healthy. That's promising. Not a bad, yeah, that's that's a what nice, that is. It's a it's, nice looking fish. It's promising. What's wrong? Boom. There she goes. Thanks, dude. Heck yeah. Awesome. Dude. Let's uh Hey, this corner's got like a down tree that literally comes out like halfway around this point. Oh, look at this cabbage right here too, dude. Yeah, we're gonna get into them. Ah, uh, dance, baby, dance. These are the ones that are like, actually like, get you too. So Adam, uh, Adam's on the board first. All right, dude, calm down. Um, we came across this like really nice, like uh, I'm pretty sure from here in, and even that way, I can see some surface vegetation. It's all like that five to six foot. Um, there's some kind of, I don't know if it's coontail, it's not foil, it's not cabbage. So I don't know what really it is, but this whole thing is a flat. So uh, I think we could sit here for a while and make our lanes and freaking catch some fish. So that's what we're gonna do. And there's a down tree over there that looks like something out of the Holy Grail. So Lego. This dude's like straight up, <laughs> just catch him out of the back of the boat. Oh, okay. we're about the same size. Nice. On the crankbait ride again. He's smaller, again. dude. Is he smaller? Oh yeah, he is a little smaller. Yeah. Well still, I got like nothing but pike slime on my hands and you're over here catching Larry's everywhere. Yeah. You got two trebles in him. Look at that. Just a baby. Boom. Oh, uh, show me that crankbait really quick. Hold that thing up. So this is, these are like the the brand, brand new ones. These are the, uh, the 13 fishings crankbaits. Uh, we got some spooks, lipless, and a few of the cranks that we're gonna mess around with this weekend. Uh, not a lot of people, I think, know about them because obviously they haven't hit the shelves yet. It was an iCast release last year. Um, they're scheduled to reach the shelves, I believe, by sometime this, uh, this fall or winter, maybe. Honestly, you don't work there anymore, I don't really know. So I can pretend I do. There's one other boat out here and I think they're bass fishing too. Um, will you like stop catching fish like before me? It's like fish number three. Number three. Oh, is that <laughs> on the spook too? On the spook. He's slurping. 
They've been freaking chasing bluegills everywhere around us. Oh, yeah, right in the little pocket there, perfect. Again, that's about the same size though, so we haven't really caught a whole lot bigger than about two pounds. That might be a little skinny, are you skinny? But yeah, choked a freaking... On a spook though. On a spook, which is super fun. And uh... There it is. Adam's killing it. So that's what, three three rip? I have oh, some yeah. catching up to do. Yeah, it's only three. A little recap for you. Um, we did go back into this bay or small lake attached to whatever you want to call it, probably bay. And um, there's a ton of bluegills like surfacing everywhere, but they're little and then we have literally like three feet of water here and it's like a silt bottom and it's soft and there's not a lot of area for at least a large fish to be hanging out and hushing all day long. I have no doubt they could come in here at night and ambush fish, but it's too wide open and on a sunny day, they just sit there and bake. They don't like being in direct sunlight for that long. If there's not something for them to hide underneath, or there's not something for them to hide under, like in a patch of reeds, or to get so down in the water where they can get out of the sun. I don't think they're going to be here longer than maybe some of the evening and morning hours. Now, I know it is evening hour, but it's just still pretty sparse. So um, if they were here, we would have caught a couple already. So we're going to go back to the main lake section, so to speak, and, um, and try and fish out a little deeper and kind of off this point. See how it goes. Oh, it's a Larry! Oh, he's oh, that right there! He freaking whacked me and then like, well, I just, I, I wasn't ready, I'll be honest. I was like looking back and he whacked me and I was, yeah, it was a bad deal. But, it was a good Larry. But it doesn't mean I'm on the board. So he's still three, four, zero? Three. Three, zero. But, signs of life. I don't know how I lost that fish. Maybe they just like the plane. Yeah, I suck like, man, this it. is a cool plane. I'm I want to know, there's gotta be a story about, here. gotta be a story about that somewhere. Yeah, that thing's sick. I mean, it's getting to the point now where like a comeback is almost impossible. It's 4-0. Crank me off the back of the boat again. He's better. He's chunky. So we're winding down to the last probably, ugh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Um, Adam's got a numero quattro. It's a good fish. I mean, they're not big, but they're, they're healthy. Hey, for a lake where we didn't really know there was even going to be fish in here, well, I should say Adam's capitalizing on it. Um, <laughs> well, that is all she wrote. Um, I don't just say other than wow. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure Adam beat me today. Is it 5 0? 4 0. Um, no, I don't. I'm not going to count a pike as a fish. Uh, I had one to the boat, but like, it's really goofy. Uh, I think what's happening is this lake is uh, either turned over and or turning over. It's um, 66 degree water temperature. Uh, today, as the temperature didn't get over 60 degrees, probably in Minnesota alone, maybe 62, uh, tonight, the nights are getting really, really cold. So I think it's a combination of uh, the weather changing. Um, obviously, we don't know this lake. It seems like a pretty much a big circle. Uh, there's some areas we found that, that dropped off faster than others. But um, I mean, we stopped for two hours before dark and caught five Larrys, a couple pike. And if it was normal summer conditions, even probably a normal, more normal day. Um, we probably could have even caught more of them. So definitely stop by. I mean, it's literally right off Highway 10. Highway 10's right there. And uh, now we got a three hour drive up to B Town. So I guess that's a wrap.